I hear this conversation all the time on New York sports media. They're talking about, oh, Shohei Otani's a DH. Guys, slow down one second. He's not a DH. Shohei Otani is an injured pitcher. And instead of giving him more props that he's coming back from an injury on his arms, which he needs to swing a bat, they're saying, oh, it's giving him an advantage. No, it's not giving him an advantage. <laughs> what advantage does he have? <laughs> Oh, the advantage is he doesn't play defense and he can stay fresher. Fine. You want to say that? That's totally cool. I understand your point of view. But at the end of the day, he's coming off a freaking injury on his arm and he played game one. He didn't wait around. Do you remember last year? We had to wait for Bryce Harper a few weeks, a a month or two, whatever, coming off of his Tommy John uh, injury. Otani was there day one and he's going 50-50. Nobody's ever come close to it. Think about this. Your your pitcher who is rehabbing from Tommy John surgery. Your ta- your 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 injured pitcher who is rehabbing it just happens to be 50-50. Happens to be the best player in the world. Your rehabbing pitcher who is also a Cy Young candidate. This happens to be, you know, greatest hitter in the world. So yeah. let's just stop. Let's stop the conversation and just have the conversation of who's three who's two through four. Let's just go there. Let's throw Bryce Harper in there. Legit, Bryce Harper is is having an incredible year for a great team. Also, he needs to be in this conversation. Mm -hmm. But let's just let's just stop it with this Francisco Lindor talk. That is such a New York thing, and it it bothers. That's what bothers everybody else about New York because they can see how good everybody else has been all year and say this is a four. It's a three man conversation now. Four man with Bryce Harper. Like it's a four man conversation. It's a five man conversation. Four. Why? Otani's. Otani's the MVP. Then it's the whoever's left. Oh, and right. the other four. The other, okay, the other four. Like it's not even a, it's not even close. It's it's the American League conversation too. Like it's Aaron Judge, and then it's all right. Where does Bobby Witt fall? Like how great of a year is he going to have at second place? That's the type of conversation we're having. And by the way, I'm not going to give uh, Bobby Witt the second place immediately because Gunner. I don't know if you've seen him. He's pretty damn good. Gunner's pretty damn good. I would actually give it Bobby Witt. I actually think Juan Soto is going to have more votes than Gunner Henderson. That's a travesty, but continue. Maybe. You know what? We can we can have that conversation next week. How about that? Okay. We'll get into that more, and we'll dive into those numbers more. I think it's clear. Are, are you clear here on Shohei? What do you have? Okay. I, I don't. Have you done the numbers? Have you looked at uh, at Ozuna and, and Marte and, and those guys? So if I had to go one through five right now, Otani number one, I'd give Lindor, Lindor number two. I really would. Then I would go Marte. Then I would go Ozuna, and then I would go Harper. That's yeah. my top five. Again, and it's fair, and I'll give you that. And everybody can sit here and say that the defense kind of pushes them over the edge. I'd say that incredible. Cartel Marte has had some pretty incredible defense as well. Ozuna doesn't play defense, so there's always that. I think I, I hate that conversation though, like because it's like that it's the reliever argument. That's why relievers weren't in the Hall of Fame because well, you're just reliever and you travel yeah. team to team. And I, I kind of hate that a little bit. To me, I look at this and just say how much of an impact do they have on the team? Mm-hmm. Braves and the Mets and the Diamondbacks wouldn't even be here if, if we didn't have these guys. So Shohei. I give a Shohei, Ozuna, and then uh, Lindor, Marte, Lindor on the defense, and that he was healthy. At the same time, even that the healthiness, the numbers really haven't jumped above those other guys. But yeah, it's actually crazy. Uh, Ozuna has the most games out of all of them. I mean, it's not that crazy. He's the he's a DH, and he's a true DH. He's not a, 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 a no Tani DH. 